In this lesson, we learn how to use the binomial expansion. To do the binomial expansion, we first need to be familiar with Pascal's triangle. This triangle is easy to remember, as it starts with a 1, and 1's around the outside. Every other number is made by adding the two numbers above it. For example, 1 plus 1 equals 2 then 1 plus 2 equals 3, 2 plus 1 equals 3. We know our next row starts with 1. 1 plus 3 equals 4, 3 plus 3 equals 6, 3 plus 1 equals 4, and we end with a 1. The next row starts with 1. 1 plus 4 equals 5, 4 plus 6 equals 10, 6 plus 4 equals 10, 4 plus 1 equals 5, and we finish with a 1. We can keep adding more rows if we need. We count the rows like so. Row 0, row 1, row 2, row 3, row 4, row 5. This is because each number of the row is found one place in. We can also calculate these values if needed on a calculator using the NCR option, where N is the row number and R is the position. We start counting the positions from zero. So for example, row five, position zero, can be found with 5C0. Pressing 5C0 on the calculator gives us 1. Row 5, position 1, is 5C1, which equals 5. Row 5, position 2, gives us 10 when we type 5C2. We can also see that the triangle is symmetrical. We have 1, 5, 10, then 10, 5, 1. This process can be used to calculate any number in the triangle. For example, this 4 can be found in row 4, position 0, 1, 2, 3. So we enter 4C3 on the calculator. Each row of the triangle tells us the coefficients in the binomial expansion depending on the power. So the second row is for a binomial to the power of 2. The third row is for a binomial to the power 3. And so on. For example, let's expand x plus 2 to the power of 3. To expand a binomial, First insert the coefficients from Pascal's triangle. We have power 3, so we use the third row with a 3 in it. We have 1, 3, 3 and 1. Step 2 is to start with the a to the n. This is the first term in the bracket to the power. We have a first term of x and the power is 3. We write x in brackets to the 3. The next step is to reduce the power of this first term as we move along. We start with x to the 3, so then we have x to the 2, x to the 1, and finally we have no x's. Next we increase the second term from 0 to 3. The second term is 2. We start with 0 2's. Then we have 2 to the 1, 2 to the 2, and 2 to the 3. All that is left to do is simplify. The first term we have 1 times x cubed. So just x cubed. Next we have 3 times 2, 
for the numbers giving us a coefficient of 6. And the x is squared, so 6x squared. It helps to work out the powers first. So 2 squared equals 4, and 4 times 3 equals 12. Then we have just x. Next we have 2 cubed, which equals 8. 8 times 1 equals 8. No x's. This is the fully simplified expression of x plus 2 to the power of 3. Here is another example. We start by entering the coefficients from Pascal's triangle. We have power 4, so in the fourth row we have 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. We start with the first term to the power, so we have 2x to the 4. Make sure to put the term in brackets with the power outside. We then reduce this term each time we move along. So 2x to the 4 becomes 2x to the 3, then 2, then 1, then 0. The first term always disappears by this last term. Next we increase the second term, which is minus 1. Watch out for binomial expansions containing negatives. We must put the minus and the 1 in brackets. We start with 0 minus 1s, then 1 minus 1, minus 1 to the 2, minus 1 to the 3, and minus 1 to the 4. We finish with this term of minus 1 to the power that is outside the brackets in the question. Now we simplify. We need to raise any numbers inside the brackets to the power outside. So we have 2 to the power of 4, which equals 16, times 1 equals 16. We also have x raised to the 4. Next we have 2 cubed, which is 8, times 4 equals 32, times minus 1 equals minus 32. We write subtract 32. We also have x cubed. Next we have 2 squared, which equals 4, times 6 equals 24. And minus 1 squared is plus 1. 24 times 1 equals 24. We also have x squared. Negative numbers to an even power always give us positive terms, and negative numbers to an odd power result in an odd answer. So minus 1 cubed equals minus 1, because 3 is odd. Minus 1 times 2 equals minus 2, and minus 2 times 4 equals minus 8. We write subtract 8. We also have an x. Finally, minus 1 to the power of 4 equals plus 1, because 4 is even. 1 times 1 equals 1. This is the final expansion for 2x minus 1 to the power of 4. Visit mathsathome.com for further videos and practice.